In March 2020, the EU Commission presented the new Action Plan for the Circular Economy and the new Industrial Strategy. Together with the previously published European Green Deal, the goal is to achieve climate neutral, sustainable and resource saving economic development while maintaining European economic power. In particular, European industry should be given comprehensive support in the transition to climate neutrality and digitalization. Both the industrial strategy and the circular economy action plan are characterized by the image of a double change and therefore a double goal orientation. In addition to climate change and its challenges, there is also digital change, which requires certain technical prerequisites and is intended to make Europe's industry an accelerator and pioneer of change and innovation. The action plan speaks of a clean and competitive Europe. The first stands for countermeasures against climate change, for example, decarbonization of industry, resource efficiency, less environmental pollution from industry. The second, for Europe's future economic strength, strengthened by adapting to new challenges and comprehensive digitalization. In conjunction with the establishment of a more circular economy, the action plan provides a framework for a sustainable product policy with particular emphasis on individual sectors such as waste, electrical and electronic equipment and ICT. A key element here is the improvement of product information and consumer rights, as well as a right to repair. One problem that has become increasingly important in recent years is the recycling of plastics from waste of electronic and electrical equipment. Basically, the same qualitative requirements must be placed on secondary raw materials as on primary raw materials. In any case, it must be prevented that legacy substances diffuse horizontally into a wide variety of products and ultimately end up in the environment in an uncontrolled manner. In order to create pollutant-free material cycles, the successive avoidance of substances of concern in the production process is of primary importance. In order to achieve this goal, the principles of green chemistry must be firmly anchored in European chemicals policy. Especially in the crisis phase of the past two years, the world is experiencing the importance of quickly having sufficient resources, raw materials and products, but also medical care and water. Global cooperation between economies leads to great interdependence. There is therefore an urgent need to act in an internationally coordinated manner and to handle all resources extremely carefully. We only have this one planet. The International Electronic Recycling Congress in Salzburg has become a major event in the European waste community. The three days are going to be enriching, without a doubt. We can look forward to many interesting presentations, exhibitions and planned tours, as well as mutually fruitful discussions and collaborations. I wish everybody a successful and a nice day in Salzburg.